is up, Rep Fam. Three stripes here from Rep Bros, and it's here. I finally got it. We're gonna be looking at the Yeezy 450 Cloud White colorway, recently just released back in March. Um, this is a shoe that I've been very um, patient for, and I'm finally excited to just you know look at it. Um, I snagged these off of uh, Shenda and I will leave all the information right here. So be sure to just check them out on Instagram after the video, hit them up and uh, be sure to like, subscribe and follow. And let's go ahead and get right into this review. So very small box, very thin, different from the original um, Yeezy version, the other Yeezys. Ooh, so excited. way okay uh, say what you want I think these are fantastic oh they are just glorious they're my kind of style it's unique it's different I am going to wear these every day but let's just talk about some key points that I'm seeing right now First thing is being this um, midsole that goes all the way up. This is supposed to be a 3D printed material with some squish in it. From videos I saw like Seth Fowler's and Roscoe, um, this has a little bit of cushion in it. This seems a little bit more stiff than usual. Um, another thing that I noticed that a lot of reps, early reps, only had six teeth on the side this one has seven seven is the correct number and also the slight brown and color change on the back heel that is a key importance um, retail kind of showed this as a little bit more smooth with a couple bit of dots in it this is more of a um, more rugged almost like looks like bone I, I would say still looks great the fabric prime knit, the pattern on the prime knit um, looks pretty good. Some pictures and videos I've seen where like it's a little bit more smooth here and then it gets into a little bit more um, rigid material, but I think it's pretty uniformic. Lace area here looks great. Elasticity on the sock liner not super stiff but yeah this thing is actually pretty small compared to like the 700 v3s and the other 350s this is actually a much smaller shoe no boost so it's gonna be a little bit thicker um, I'm pretty sure it's like the same type yeah so it's gonna be pretty much like the the v3s as far as comfort goes, but I am very excited to wear them. I am very excited to see how the cushion is. The laces on this don't seem to do any job. <laughs> Just, you know, for show. It looks like this sock liner is elastic enough to where it can just hug your feet. Um, you could go laceless, but that might look a little silly. I actually might kind of tempted to throw on some black laces and see how that looks, but who knows. But other than that, you know, this is a really great shoe. Super excited to wear it. Very flexible, very durable. Um, but anyways, that is it. Let's look at the other one really quick. The size I have here is 11 and a half. I've heard retail has suggested to go a half size up. I'm going to throw them on feet and let you know. So we are. I got them on feet. Um, and... From what you can see, kind of, you see my toe pointing up right there, so I actually have a little bit of room, about like that much still from the edge. Um, but my one thing is, is that, you know, when saw, when shoes like these are this elastic, it kind of makes me feel weird that my toe, you can see my toe just kind of bulging up out in front right there. Um, but, you know, the shoe's material is elastic enough so that even if you do go half a size up, it's still going to hug your feet pretty nicely and... You know, still almost kind of feel the same without it, you know, feel like it's crushing your toes at the end. So, um, 
right now this is my choose the size but if you want and you want the extra tow room then definitely do go half size up anyways you know that is all for the video be sure to like subscribe to our channel uh let's get us back to where we used to be and um don't forget to hit us up on instagram and as always you know rep it hard I'm smoking,